Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I have a bit of a different video today. I just had to close my window because <laughs> it can get loud outside. I have a bit of a different video today. I need to do an organizational video. This is going to be long, I fear. So I might have to like speed things up or what have you, but I have a huge stack of happy planner stuff that I just have been kind of piling in my craft cart. And um, this is just like stuff from all over. Um, as I kind of go through my happy planners and I get rid of happy planners, I keep a bunch of stuff, uh, like I keep a bunch of like happy planners stuff, like the dividers, the covers, some pages, um, just in my like craft cart in case I wanna use them up. I wanna organize things a little bit more though. So I think what I'm gonna do in this video is just organize um, this, in, this huge pile of craft stuff and try to get a handle on it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with um, organizing, like separating everything out into different piles. So these are all um, dividers and I've used them before. So they're, you know, used, but, um, oh, this one is probably a divider from a like notebook because the back is also decorated. But some of these are from planners and, um, I, I think they're really cute. I want to keep on like holding on to them though. So I'm gonna make like a pile of dividers. So this is another divider. And it doesn't matter to me that I have, like I've already used the back side of it um, because I can always cover this up with, a, with another like page or something and I can continue to use the dividers. So I think what I'm gonna do is switch up, um, switch things up. And I think what I'm gonna do is divide the dividers. Actually, no, I'm going to have a pile of just dividers here. So divider, divider, divider. These are all from the Painterly Pastel um, collection. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my goodness, these are adorable. Okay, and this is scrapbook paper. So this is gonna go on another pile. So like this scrapbook paper, like I can always, um, you know, like, uh, I can always like tape it to the back of this and then put like something here. And then I just have a brand new divider, but the divider art is so cute that I cannot, I, I don't wanna throw it away. It's not like I can continue to reuse these until these things fall apart. So these are all from the pressed florals um, planner. So I'm keeping all of these. These are a lot of dividers. These are from my meal plan divider, a gardening planner. Wow, so many dividers. So cute. Okay, so dividers, 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 dividers. These are wrong, wrong dividers. I kind of want to put all of these dividers into a, like on some rings. I'm thinking of putting them on, um, on, a, on a set of rings, like on a set of expander rings and um, just organizing things that way. Okay, here's some new pages. So I also went through all of my happy planners and got rid of a bunch of stuff and I got rid of a lot of the pages I had written on but I kept a lot of the pages that I hadn't written on so July 4th through the 20th I just didn't use these pages and so now I have some pages here so I think what I'm going to do is like separate all of these unused pages into like different formats. Like I'll put this into a like unused pages, um, color block. Like I'll, I'll get like a set of rings and stick all of my unused pages in there and separate it by like color block, vertical, horizontal, what have you. So I'm gonna put these pages to the side. These are dividers, dividers. These are from, this is from the, or these are from the Jungle Vibes planner. These are so cute. 
And I actually might separate um, the dividers by month as well. Like I might do that. Let's see, because I don't imagine that I'll ever like recreate the planner that these dividers came from and like use all these dividers in the same order again. What I'll probably do as the years go by is that I'll have this stack of dividers and I'll just like flip through my Januaries, pull out a January that I want if there's if there's no like new release January that I wanna use and then just like pull for different months at a time. I think that's what I'm gonna do with these. So I think I'm gonna order them by month. So let me get all these dividers. I have so many, there's so many here. I might have to get like two separate books of dividers, like two sets of expander rings. Um, Let's see, and I might go through some of these dividers and get rid of them. Like, I don't really like this one. I think I might get rid of this one. I might have to declutter some of these. I haven't really been paying attention to to them, but oh, this one's, you know, I'm not gonna use this one. I'm not a fan of that one. I like that one, I like this one. I like that one, I like that one. This one I don't care for, this one I like. Dream big, dream often. I don't really like that one. This one I like. These are beautiful. These are from the the floral, the realistic floral planners. Beautiful. I like this one. Yes, I like that one. Okay, here's a. These are covers. So now I'm going to um, have another pile of covers. So uh, I'll put the, these to another pile. And then these are budget planners. Um, I have a little stain on this one. I don't really like that divider or this one. This one's fine. I like that one. This one's cute. I like this one. Mm, I'm not a fan of this one, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. That one's cute. I like that one. Oh, here's a cover page. So here's another type of, like, I guess, type of page I have in this stack. I have cover pages. So these are cover pages. A folder. Okay, that's another stack. This one's cute. Um, scrapbook paper. Okay, I need to have a like pile of scrapbook paper. So these are scrapbook paper dividers. This is going to be my like get rid of these pile. I'm going to toss those. Okay, and then here is a bunch of uh, vertical pages. So <clears throat> let's see. I will add these to the blank pages pile. I'm going to keep that one. Um, these are really cute. I'm going to put these here. This is um, a faith journaling page. I did use it a little bit, but this page is absolutely blank. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that um, a bookmark. Okay, let's make another pile. Stickers, let's make another pile. Uh, covers, let's add those here to the cover page. Okay, this is a cute little, um, photo holder. I actually took out the photo already, so I think I'm going to toss this. Another cover. Uh, fitness pages. These are blank fitness pages. I'll add that to my blank pages pile. These are um, dividers. Fitness pages. Add those to my blank page. I like that divider. I'll keep that one. Um, blank pages. Super cute divider. More fitness pages. Um, a divider, fitness pages, so we'll add that to the blank pile page. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I was gonna save this, but I actually don't really care to keep that. This one's cute, I'll keep this. Aww, this is a little artwork I did. I kinda wanna like put this into my like art notebook. I did these little art pieces um, a while ago and I kinda wanna keep them. This one, I don't really care for this divider. I'm gonna toss it. This is so cute. Um, I think I might cut that out and add this to my art notebook. Same with all this stuff. I might just like paste it into my art notebook. Uh, I like this divider, I'll keep it. 
I'm going to save this artwork and put it into my um, art notebook. This one's cute. I'll keep this one. Eh, mm, eh, I'm going to toss this one. I don't really like it. This one I don't really like. This one I don't really like. I didn't really like the dividers too much in that uh, Stephanie Fleming um, planner. Uh, I like that one. I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. This one's cute. Mm, I'll keep this one. Eh, actually, I don't really like this one. I'll toss this one. These are from the Colorful Leopard. I like this one. Eh, this one's not my favorite. Mm, I'll keep it for now. I'll keep this one. I'll keep that one. This one's cute. Uh, sure, I'll keep that one. I'll keep this one. I'll keep that one. This one's cute. Keep. Uh, I'll keep that one for now. I'll keep this one. Keep. Keep. Uh, mom. Let's see. These are cute. Budget planner dividers. Keep this one. I'll keep that one. I'll keep that one. I'll keep that one. Okay. So now I have couple of piles. I have some artwork I want to transfer into another art notebook, some scrapbook dividers, some planner covers, uh, planner name pages, folders, some blank pages, and then lastly a ginormous stack of planner uh, covers. This thing is huge. I might not put it on a ring honestly. I might just keep it I might just like keep them in the stack like this because it'll be like a lot of rings um, to keep all of that. Okay, so now we have that pile. Okay, I have another stack of, um, I have another stack of planner pages. So actually this stack here, these are all the pressed floral um, pages from the big pressed floral planner. And I actually kind of want to keep these together. I don't want to like deconstruct this yet because it's still such a complete set. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on rings and um, add this to my planner like stack slash collection. We have some stickers here. Let's put these in another pile of folder. I'll put this here. Um, okay, so now we have... Okay, so these are pages that I want to like hold on to because I didn't really use them and I feel like I can still use them for like creative journaling. I can like lift these stickers out and so I think I'm going to add this to my um, my pile of like pages to reuse. What's this? I'm going to toss this. I don't really need that anymore. Again, these are pages that I didn't really use. So this is a meal planning page, color block pages that I like barely touched, um, some vertical style pages that I didn't really use. So, okay, we're gonna add these to my pages I can reuse pile. This folder I don't really care for, or the divider I don't really care for, I'll get rid of that one. This one I'll keep around for now. This one, I actually kind of like this one, so I'll keep that one around. And then th this is all artwork that I want to like cut out and put into my art notebook. So I'm gonna put that into my art notebook pile. This one is, I just kind of want to take that sticker. <laughs> this is one of my all time favorite stickers that the Happy Planner has ever released and I want it, I want to keep it. So I'm gonna put that to the side for now. This one's kind of cute, I'll keep this one. This is a scrapbook divider. This is a big um, planner cover, so I'll put that there. And then honestly, actually, I might, I actually, so I took off the rings off this planner because that's basically why I wanted this planner, was for the rings. This is a memory keeping planner and it's in this huge format. And um, here, let me, uh, let me put the, see, so this is the cover and then this is the back cover. I took off the rings because that's mainly what I wanted from this planner. It was on clearance at my Joann's and I figured like the rings were this beautiful like metallic pink 
so I wanted those and I figured I could always use um, these pages for my creative projects, memory keeping. So I'm also going to put this on a set of rings and add that to my stack. I don't want to like deconstruct it any more than because it's so complete. So I don't want to deconstruct it. I might, what I might do is um, replace the cover because this is not like my favorite cover. So I might change up the cover for something else. Okay, another stack of pages, a divider, keeping this one, and then I have some blank pages. I used this side of it, but I didn't use these guys, so I'm going to keep those. This one's cute, keeping that one. Um, again, I didn't use these vertical pages, so even though I did use this side, barely, I barely used it, um, the back I did not use, so I can always reach for some of these um, pages you know waste not want not so we have some uh, bookmarks here add those to my bookmark pile didn't use the back of that page so we'll use this one i don't really like this divider so i'm gonna get rid of this one i'm not a sewer keeping my dudatama divider these are craft list or checklist um vertical pages from Miss Maker. We have a blank overview page there. So although I did kind of use this um, this uh, week, I can still get some use out of that. I have here a folder or an envelope. So I'll add that to my little like pile of accessories, some stickers, folder, um, some lined vertical pages that I can get some use out of at some point another bookmark keeping this one that one's really cute um, a blank page here Gudetama divider scrapbook uh, uh, paper another Gudetama divider hmm yeah we'll keep this one for now a folder oh a sticky note dashboard with a cover page on the other side we'll save that one a uh, dashboard, some stickers, another dashboard, um, let's see. So uh, these are just blank pages from my a dashboard. And let's see. Yeah, you can see like I used some of these, but like on the other side, I didn't really use them. So I want to hold on to these. These are horizontal pages. Um, I definitely want to use these for uh, creative journaling because they're basically just like sketchbook paper. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to a lot of these pages. Yeah, I'm glad I held on to these. I got rid of so many of my like happy planner pages that I like wrote on a lot more because you know it was nice to have them, but I don't want to hold on to things as you know if I don't want to so. I just got rid of them and then we have just a bunch of undated blank pages here this is from a Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse uh, undated vertical planner so let's get all of these um, let's get all of these together okay and the last little pile I have here we just have more undated vertical Mickey Mouse pages. Love those. Add that to the pile. And then these are pages, these are color block pages, which I barely used. I really tried to get some use out of them, but just didn't happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse these at some point. So I'll just grab for these pages and I can always like work around those pre-existing decorations. This was a little journaling page and I did not use the back there so I can still use that one. This is a divider and I actually glued two dividers here together <laughs> and kind of want to peel this one off and I can get rid of this one and then I can just have this one. Um, hopefully it doesn't stick to things. Uh, it's kind of dry now. Okay, whatever. I'll add that to the pile. This one, uh, I don't really like this one. I'm gonna get rid of that one. More unused pages from a meal plan planner and vertical planner. Cute divider, I'll keep that one. And then we just have a two covers.
Okay, last pile of random craft supplies. Another cover. I just took those off of um, off my work planner, so I'm gonna try to like put them somewhere. This I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't need this. It's a cover page for a budget planner, and then I have a chunk of paper here. This is the Pressed Florals Flora Notebook that came in the latest Wildflower Be Happy box. And it's really, really cute. My boyfriend got me this for my birthday. And I took off the rings and the cover because I used them for my current planner setup and for my budget planner. So what I want to do is put this on another set of rings and then add a... Um, add a cover to it to protect these pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these to the side to do that. And then this stuff is all from uh, the, that Be Happy box. So we have some vision boards, a folder, I'll put that into my folder pile. Some stickers, I'll add that to my sticker pile. We have some, um, we have some filler paper, which I might add this to that Flora notebook paper along with this. This is a stack of Mickey and Minnie Whimsy Wonders dotted lined paper from one of their accessory packs from their new collection. I might add all this paper into this into one large notebook. So I'm gonna put that together. Two bookmarks, add that to my dashboard. This little leopard jungle vibe sticker, put that in the sticker pile. Um, this is so cute, a little uh sticky notepad I'll put that into my desk drawer along with this guy I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put this guy such a beautiful sticker and then we have some sticky notes Ugh, this is so cute so cute I might click this into somewhere but for now I'll put it into my desk drawer and then we have uh, this beautiful folder I'll add it to the folder pile some meal planning pages um, I kind of want to like separate out my meal planner again and have it be like a separate thing because I don't really want it to be like combined anymore with my me with my workouts so stickers add that to a sticker pile vision board love this I might add this into um I'm not sure not sure I might add this into that same notebook I'm gonna be adding the rest of the filler paper Okay, so project number one is I'm going to put some rings on this stack here and it's going to be the Mickey and Minnie um, Whimsy Wonders lined paper, the, the Mickey and Minnie floral lined paper, and then lastly um, the Be Happy floral paper. So let's see. Yeah, it has three dividers. So let me put all of this on a set of rings and I'll I'll use this mm, actually no, I kinda wanna save that one. Mm, I might use I'll use this this cover here to put this all together. So let me grab some rings. And I think I'm going to use these black rings. Um, I honestly don't really like these rings. I feel like I have a lot of these black rings and then these um, colored rings. But I, these are my least favorite color of rings that the Happy Planner has come out with. I was thinking of using those for this as well because this is more f so like a storage place. I'm only going to be... Um, really like storing this um, I'm not going to be taking it out anywhere so I don't want to use any of the colorful rings that I might want to reach for later for like my work planner or just like a planner that I use more consistently these are just more like storage places for filler paper so I think I'm gonna go with um, these black rings I still want them to look nice though, so I might, that's why I'm going for the black ones because I hate those other like weird gold ones. These guys, they're, uh, I, just, I don't like them at all. So, um, okay, yeah, let's do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of these pages onto the rings.
Okay, I just realized I have this guy here, which is all of my filler paper. I'm wondering if I can combine some of this paper with this one. So that way I just have one large uh, filler paper compilation. I think I might. You know what I might do is I might take out these pages here. These are my Oasis daily pages because these are more like fit for my daily uh, my daily page um, agenda. I might stick those in there. And then what I might do is then combine these guys, these pages into this guy because these are expander rings. So they might be able to fit in here. Let's see, let me try it. So I'll start off with, I'll transfer all these pages over. Okay, let's see if it closes. Oh, barely, it barely closes. So I guess, I guess it does close though. This is my filler paper um, collection, I guess you would say. I have some of the Whimsy Wonders, Paper. I have the floral uh, Mickey and Minnie floral paper. A whole chunk of the Be Happy, um, Be Happy. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the Be Happy filler paper from the Be the Wildflower box. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk right now. All right, I think we did it, you guys. I think we managed to squeeze every single. Uh, every single filler paper that I have bought since I started getting into the Happy Planner into this huge mega expander pack. I love it. This is um, a Marabou Designs cover that says dream big on the front. And then we have a vision board at the very front. And then we just have the Mickey and Minnie Whimsy Wonders dotted lined paper, a divider separating that from the floral Mickey and Minnie dotted lined paper, another divider separating a big chunk of paper. This is from the, uh, the newest Be Happy Wildflower uh, box. And then another divider separating another huge chunk of pages. These are... Um, Mickey and Minnie wellness journaling pages. Um, this is in their color block style. Another divider. And then we have just some uh, filler pages from a gardening accessory pack I picked up a while ago. I really like this one because it has like lines on this side and a uh, grid on the other. And on the back, it's just a dot grid. And love the cute little motifs. Another divider, do you see? how useful these dividers are, even though I already used them at some point, um, I can just stick them in and use them to like help me like divide things and compartmentalize things. So this is another one of my favorite filler pages. This is from one of their, uh, it's a Disney Mickey Mouse, Mickey and Minnie filler page. I love how similar to that gardening filler paper, there's a grid on half of the page and then like a lined section on the other. These are great for, um, daily agenda sheets and then another divider and we just have some grid paper um, from Mickey and Minnie, uh, a Mickey and Minnie collection. This is probably one of their earliest uh, Mickey and Minnie products that they came out with. I love the little accents and oh, this guy should be in the previous section. So let's stick this guy here. Try not to mix things up. I really like how organized this is. Ah, oh no, we have some. Okay, I need to t take these out. So this guy needs to c come out. Um, these two need to come out. Okay, now, now we're talking. Now it's organized. So let me stick this page back in here. So there's that. And then we have that dot grid. And then I have another divider separating those from these lined pages these are from the painterly pastels uh, love these um, pages really really cute and then just another divider separating those from these lined pages from the disney oasis collection and it's just lined and cute little mickey there in the corner and on the back it's just a plain page with just like some like 
paint splatters, I guess, and no lines or anything, and it just says big ideas. So that's a really nice filler paper. Another divider, and then we have these plain filler paper. This is the first pack of filler paper I ever got. It has just nice little star accents up in the corner, and I really like these for doodling. So that's why I got them, because I wanted to draw on them. And then we have our last section, which is, I got this, this is, this, the, this filler paper was from one of the Mickey and Minnie accessory packs. And I think I have it upside down. Yeah, I have it upside down. <laughs> Let me pull this out and put it right side up. Okay, this one's, these are right side up little Disney there is in, in the on the on the bottom so let's turn this around put this back in and that's it that's my entire filler page collection I have so much going on here I definitely do not need to buy any more filler paper for a long long while so it's nice that it's all together now love it so we just have this big guy and just uh, I need to use up some of this so that I can like I can uh I can <laughs> reduce the size in this guy so it's nice to have this all together though and the next thing I'm gonna do actually is put all of this um, all of these like blank slash like potential use pages onto some rings as well so I'm gonna grab for I think I'm gonna use this budgeting cover to house all of my like extra paper. I think that would be a, a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on rings. All right. And I think I'm going to cut the camera now because this video is going to be so long and it's going to take me forever to organize everything. But I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek into my like organizational process and how I keep all of my paper and crafting supplies organized. And yeah, so um, I hope you're doing wonderfully out there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.